Yeah. But it's fucking crazy. Like when, like I've seen, you know, say like there are some family vloggers, for example, that have been going on for like yeah. you know five, ten years, right? Yeah. yeah. And I'm just like, how are you guys like? okay mentally yeah because that would drive me fucking insane yeah. yeah because like i i i get insane just from going to a bookstore and being like all right i gotta find my next video yeah. right yeah let alone you do that every moment of your life yeah. being like all right what's something i can like pick up and show on camera <laughs> to like show them that like yeah. we're living a normal life you yeah, know? Like, yeah, yeah. like I, I also as well, whenever I've hung out with like YouTubers, it's normally always like the newer ones or the smaller ones who always want to like take a picture of, and post everything. Mm. Cause I think that they haven't like experienced it yet where they're yeah. like, cause if you hang out with big YouTubers, they're never like, oh, let's post this on social media. Or, let's yeah. take a picture mm. of the post. It's always like, oh, we're not like, I don't know. There's just like this kind of vibe that you get around some people where you're like, all right, cool. This is just going to be a private thing. Nothing's going to be like, yeah. You know, yeah. It's weirdly, nice. weirdly, it's like you usually have to, if, if you're interacting with a bigger YouTuber, you usually have to be the one to be like, hey, is it okay if I upload this? Yeah, yeah, I would, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I would ask. I mean, I if, if I'm with a bigger YouTuber and I, for some reason, wanted to post what I was doing mm, at yeah. that moment in time, I would ask them, but yeah. I, ne I never do. No. I always like get like a fucking sigh when I'm like, someone pulls out a camera and they're going to post it. I'm like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> we're, we're going we're gonna to do and, that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. I just, right. I just wanted to eat dinner. <laughs> but fine, let's turn it into something. Like, <laughs> like cause to me, it's like the only like 100% escape I get is just like a nice fucking meal. Mm. I don't know why. I fucking love you food. You just like yeah. food, man. I fucking love food. I, I like food. I mean, who like, doesn't? To yeah. me, like food is, don't get me wrong, very tasty, very delicious. And I can eat a lot of it. I like right? to think so, yes. Right? right, but for me, my favorite part about food is like the social aspect of food mm. and like eating with someone mm. and like having it like be a conversation and the food is like a compliment to that. And yeah. Because you it's a shared experience that you can discuss. And if you don't know someone, it's like, oh, okay, well maybe you can talk about the food and then it opens you up a little bit. I don't yeah. know. I just really like that aspect of it. And I don't like that being like ruined by like right. by people trying to like monetize right in, it. Right in front it. of your salad. Right, I'm just yeah. trying to enjoy my immaculate meal, my A5 beef. <laughs> my immaculate salad. <laughs> right. immaculate and if I, and, if I po and sometimes I'll post a picture. Uh, no, sorry, I'll take a picture. 99% of the time I don't post it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just for me. I'm like, I want to remember this so I can- Yeah, yeah that's, that's yeah. something I've noticed recently. I, I'd say, especially in the last like two or three years or so where I've, for some reason, the more I do social media and the more I used to post, now I post way less. Yeah. Yet I experience more. <laughs> it's if it's, that makes sense. This like, is like a lot of people ask, "Gun, why don't you post on Instagram? Gun, <laughs> post more on Instagram." I fucking don't post anything on Instagram. And too. I, I remember I've tried so many times to get on my Insta to like get more on my Instagram, and that's just because I fucking hate. Having an experience, right? This is the thing I hate the most. Having some kind of experience, <laughs> whether it's a nice meal or you're going somewhere new, mm. and I like, I feel pressured to document it. Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah, I, yeah. I gotta take a nice photo of this for like, Instagram. Right? Like for one, I fucking suck at taking photos. Oh yeah. So half the time I'm like trying to figure out hey, how do I make what I see look good. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> how do I do that? This is this is why I don't work with like live action stuff. Yeah. But I, I also I just hate that experience of just, ha of just having to feel like I need to document this. I need to make sure the world knows what I'm doing. Yeah. And I feel like ever since I just completely given up on my Instagram. Yes, I, I, I've just given up at this point. <laughs> Everybody unfollow now. <laughs> you, can, you can unfollow me. I probably won't notice. But like, I, as soon as I just gave up on it, then I just, you know, I just, it just felt like a weight was off my shoulder. Right. And I feel like Twitter for me is just way more casual. I love Twitter. I love, I love Twitter. Twitter, yeah. Like Twitter. Twitter, I just, I don't have to try. It's just yeah. like, I, I say any stupid it's thought that comes shit. to my mind. Dude, I tweeted penis and it got 25,000 <laughs> likes. I'm like, you guys will like fucking anything. But like with Instagram, yeah, I'm kind of the same. Like I, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm active on Instagram. Like You're I'm the most active out of I'm probably yeah. the most active, but the thing is, is that <laughs> like, I'd say the past 10 to 15 photos I put up on Instagram, I didn't take. It was either Aki took it or mm. somebody else. Like Luke yeah. took a lot of them, like the recent <laughs> ones, because he's a I, cameraman. Yeah, I just never think when I'm at a place, I'm like, I should take a picture. Like I yeah. do occasionally, yeah. and there's pictures on my Instagram at places, but most of the time I never think I should take a picture. I'm yeah. like, I'm just gonna enjoy it. Like I don't yeah. know. Yeah. And yeah. I, that, that shouldn't be like a thing of like, wow, look how amazing I am. I just- Yeah, you have eat, nothing eat. to prove, right? Yeah, it's, it's like, it's like I don't have to take a nice photo of this trip yeah, I went to, yeah. to prove to you that, oh, I went yeah. on this nice trip. Like. Like, yeah, you know, right. that should just be something that you should cherish. Not to say, you know, don't post your experiences on Instagram. Yeah. Like if, if you're yeah. okay with yeah, that, I did fucking just go recently. for it, right? Yeah. But it's not a necessity, especially it, if you're a content creator or a YouTuber. Yeah, I, th th I think it, I think what we're saying, like more like doubly is about 
other content creators or other mm. YouTubers, because mm. as a content creator, you do commodify your life mm. and you need to find, as I, I learned that I needed to find some parts of my life that just weren't touched by YouTube. Yeah, and just yeah, yeah. you really have to like actively make sure you're you're thinking about it. I also think that when you're starting out, it's a lot easier to fall into the, the traps of self-employed because a lot of the time YouTubers are young. Mm -hmm. And you know, I started when I was 19. Mm. And I had no chill. You were 19 when you started? Yeah, I had 19 when I started. How old were you when you started, Gart? 17. 17. Yeah. Yeah. I was 18 when I started. Mm. And uh, yeah, I find when when the you get that first initial growth, your thought is to pour everything into it. Mm. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I definitely did do that. And I definitely got burnt out very quickly because mm. uh, I was doing university as well at the time. Yeah, yeah same. So <laughs> it was like I was putting in a full 40 hour work week on my YouTube yeah. and then I was putting Probably not a full 40 hour work week into my university studies. <laughs> oh no, it was definitely like YouTube university for me, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then my social life was just, you know, in tumble, shambles. tumbleweed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, my, and the sad thing is, right, is that for every one of us that you hear the success story, you know, there's a lot of survivor bias <clears throat> with that kind of stuff. Cause mm. for every three YouTubers like us that did it during a job or university, we made it through, but mm -hmm. it's probably like a hundred people who fucking sweated their ass off full throughout university trying yeah. to get it to work yeah. and failed miserably. Yeah, yeah didn't yeah. have anything to show for it, right? right? Like yeah. I took a gamble and it worked off, but it was a dumb gamble in reality. Mm. Yeah. But I was passionate about it. But I mean, the more dumb gamble for you would have been if you saw that little bit of success and you're like, I'm gonna quit university, <laughs> which is something so, you should never do. 